What does it take to produce food? Think of it in layers. We start with a place, the plains, the river basins, the foothills, the coastal shores where food is grown or raised. Then come the specific farming practices typical there. And then the forces of supply and demand, public policies. But all of this only comes to life when we add local communities and cultures. These layers overlap to create what we call a foodscape. All of these deliciously diverse foodscapes add up to create a complex global food system. But that's not all. Foodscapes also hold the key to changing the whole system for the better. Through the diversity and complexity of our global foodscapes, we can showcase the food economy as a powerful tool for positive change for both people and the planet. Let's take a closer look. Each foodscape class includes biophysical information, the geology, ecology and climate of a place, and also the farming practices used there, like irrigation, tillage and nutrient inputs. You can see how different foodscape classes interact to form a mosaic within a political boundary or within a geography or biome. But foodscapes can also provide a foundation to look at the people, the policies and the profits, as well as the solutions most suited for their betterment. With this new planning language, policymakers, economists, analysts and local community leaders can help to unlock the power of nature, supporting more resilient food production and improved livelihoods for producers. Working at the foodscape scale allows us to operate with both local detail and global impact in mind.